All right, hey there, Prox Gaming Crew, and this is Proxify here, and welcome back to the Nino Kuni and the Wrath of the White Witch Let's Play. And if you didn't miss out during the last one, well, we just made it to the snowy village of Yule. Now, this is a part of the snow area that we are at right now, currently, so that we can go and hunt on after one of the different many of the three stones that we need for the Morningstar One. Now, there is a place that is outside of the Yule Village known as the Glittering Grotto, which I believe that is now blocked off by one of the race of the Tomtees, which these are what the adorable little yeti creatures are all about within this area now we have to go and speak to the village elders so that we can be able to access throughout that spot and we will be heading on into that way for a time for today now however just like how castaway cove is that i totally forgot about within the shopkeeper but there is different weapons and also defense type of items that you can go and pick up for your guys as well too in the process now, the one thing that you may probably want to make sure to actually go and pick up if you do have enough, uh, well, enough amount of cash that you do have. I already went and did this already off recording, uh, but there is going to be some flame stores that you can go and pick up and that will really help you out uh, within this area because majority uh, of us heading outside is that there is going to be a lot of familiar enemies that are going to be dealing with the weakness of fire. So if you do have any type of fire familiars that does have any type of moves with the fire related to it, um, having that that extra uh, type of equipment with you will actually kind of boost up uh, your fire type of damage a little bit better around here and uh, I already went and did that and uh Hopefully everything should work pretty well uh, with our time uh, for when we go and head on out uh, out of our way to show you guys the familiars that we are going to be uh, seeing uh, within our time for today. Now, the village elder did give us some brand new witcherized clothing, uh, which that is pretty nice. At least now, Oliver doesn't have to be cold out here anymore. I know that if we tried to wear our bathing suit out of here, this place would not really work as well as it should be because this is no castaway cove. This is more so of a more of a cold wave type of area that's going to be showing up around within this area here. Now, let's go and uh, actually showcase on out on some of these familiars now if you guys did see in my party i do have one of these mangler fishes uh that's what the enemy that we're going to be meeting up with our time out here now i did get myself introduced to some of the familiars uh, just so i can see what uh, type of uh moves that they actually do have um now some of these guys uh like these mangler fishes kind of have like the same type of attacks as what we've uh, seen their pre-evolution from i want to say back over at the dig dog dell area back in the sewer part right where we had to go and be well basically battle out um with the uh with that one boss uh, known as hickory dock which we will be seeing a uh, another form of hickory dock but that will be much later on into the uh, post game of all things but but yes we will be uh I, I think you know what probably for what this series is going to be i wouldn't mind actually doing the post game but we'll have to see what happens if i can at least survive throughout this game of course because if you guys don't know uh even though that we've been uh training up uh, throughout our time out here and we've been evolving out on most of our familiars um if you guys don't know the levels do decrease so we kind of have to regain everything back up to where it last was and that's what i've been doing out here so far uh if you guys kind of saw throughout the uh party listing that i do have back at the very beginning of this episode uh is that majority of my guys are now finally sitting around in the mid type of uh, 20 margin at this point in time and we also do have some uh, brand new evolutions as well which i think you guys should be able to go and see that i believe we now do have megalith as a part of our team right there and i don't know why swayden was actually just glitching out all of there just like that and uh, wasn't there also another evolution within my party listing as well? I know that Megalith was one of them. And uh, I know that you guys did uh, get to go and see it. But oh yes, uh, we do have Floroboros now. Yeah, so there's actually two different forms of uh, what happens with Chloroboros. I believe there's Obscuroboros. That is like the more heavy attacking type of snake form. And there's Floroboros, which that is more so of the healing form. And I'm actually going to be more so into the healing aspect for most of my guys now. Because I know that we have one for Esther which that deals with uh, with Nightcap there. And now we're going to have one for Flora Boris for Oliver so that we can be able to uh, at least have that within our time as well too. Just to make sure that we get ourselves healed up every little once in a while. So there we go. Sticky's up to our level. Gunther's also up to our level as well too. Now I believe at this point in time, I want to say like during my offer core process, I believe Bighorn can actually be able to now go and uh, get himself evolved. But I'm going to wait a little bit because I was checking out his movesets and it seems like there is a brand new move that is going to be happening at least at some point very soon. Um, and that should be happening around at level 40. And I think currently right now we're somewhere in like in the mid 30s right now within Bighorn. So I don't really want to go and start doing any type of evolutions just yet. 
But here we are. We're over at the Glaring Grotto. So let's go and uh, see what this place is all about. Now, this area is a pretty, um, I want to say backtracking type of part. It almost has almost like a way of how the Water Temple is in Ocarina of Time. There's quite a bit of things to go and backtrack around because uh, there is some hidden walls that we will be seeing uh, within our time. Uh, not too much, I don't think, but if you ever do encounter out on walking around through the different walls, there is gonna be some hidden areas that will take you through different other detour parts within this place. Um, now, sometimes they will probably lead you back to the very beginning of this area and you may probably have to return back to the previous spot, but not to worry. It doesn't like completely like lock you out and you have to like basically restart all the way back from where you last were. Um, but there is also some hidden chests within those hidden walls as well, which we will be seeing that too. Now, here in this area, there is one adorable uh, type of familiar that we will be adding on. To, well, not really adding on to the team, but more so, I think, probably putting it to maybe the reserve listings or something around within our time here. Uh, but we will be adding another familiar into our box party as well. And uh, that's going to be a, uh, a Sasquatch type of uh, well, type of familiar that's going to be around. And I don't know if it's going to be this guy or not yet, but we'll have to see what happens. But yeah, these are what the new guys are here all about. Pretty sure that we have never got to go and see these guys outside out of Yule, but you can go and fight them outside of Yule if you wanted to, but they are majority here more commonly uh, around within this area though. Uh, we will be seeing the rest of the other different forms as well too in the process, but look how much our like our fire attack does. Now, we do have some new fire typing moves uh, for Bighorn as well, which I believe is known as the Spin of Fire or something, or, or, or Spin of Fire. I can't really remember what it's actually known as, but it's a pretty crazy type of uh, type of move and it actually does like quite a bit of damage. And that just does it right here for what the uh, super effective moves are all about within this area. Since majority of these guys are going to be ice type related uh, familiars here. Yep, and just want to make sure that everybody gets all healed up now. Now, since I did go and put, uh, I think, what was it? It was it's not clap trap, but it's the other type of trap uh, uh, familiar that we actually did have. I do have the equipment that is back into our own inventory at this point since I went and dropped them off back over there and I actually did give a uh, an item to Esther which I believe you guys got to see that a little bit within here as well too so yeah so here is also another new enemy uh, this is the ice queen uh, majority of the time you will be seeing uh, a, a common type of familiar which that is gonna be her most of the time throughout the different battles now this snowstorm move does do a lot of damage and it's not gonna be all that too great with having uh, I, I want to say with just having King around because I think that that could probably be the weakness, I think, for what uh, for what Mighty is going to be around here. I should say uh, Dynamite that's going to be around here uh, within our time. Which, that's not going to be good. So, you may probably not want to really want to go and use uh, the uh, your uh, your Dynamite Familiar or, the, uh, or whatever type of form that you have out of the Mighty Might form that's going on there. So, yeah, everybody just needs to quickly get healed back up. Not to worry, um, we should at least be able to go and find out where this save point is going to be. It shouldn't be too far away, um, but there is going to be a lot of backtracking areas, which that may probably take at least somewhat of a little bit of a, of a journey to get to, but. So let's go and see what else we got. I know that there's quite a bit of treasure chests around out here. Um, now, I don't know if there's going to be certain type of treasure chests that we'll probably have to use our certain type of spells to actually at least try to go and pick up. I know that there's one which we could go and do for Swain and actually be able to go and use our special type of, uh, type of, uh, what is it, like using the snatcher type of pistol that we have, the pocket pistol to go and uh, grab out on anything there. Now, there is a mood that I don't think I ever got to go and ever show off to you guys is, is that uh, if you ever do any type of research and you want to go and look for uh, any type of steel items, which that kind of works almost a little bit like Final Fantasy IX in a way, if you do want to go and try to find the items a little bit, it, uh, a little bit of a nice, like, like, easier type of way without having to really worry about having to, like, buy out the actual weapon, um, you can actually go and steal from different enemies that are here. And, uh, and if there is a certain item that you do want, um, all you have to do is just use Swain and just use the uh, the mug shot, and uh, and that will basically uh, steal an item from an enemy. And hopefully, you can at least try to pick up with that certain guy right there. There we go. So now we got our uh, adorable little Sasquatch buddy out here, and we're gonna f add him into our reserve listings. Okay, and unfortunately, it looks like Holiver also got himself knocked out just right when it was just happening there. 
But yeah, there's the Megalith design, and that looks absolutely amazing, too. Oh, yeah, and by the way, since we do have Megalith, I believe we are now, like, uber defensive at this point. So if you ever want to go and add any type of other items to it to make it more defensive, Megalith is going to be here that will work very nicely around with having with Swain. But we're going to name this one after Vinny. Of course, uh, the classic uh, PokeTuber that's out here. I always keep on forgetting about what his actual name is on YouTube, but all I know is all I know about him is his name is Vinny. Um, but of course, also as well, there's also this little adorable uh, Tom T guy. He's gonna go and let us know that there is some stuff hidden behind the wall. Now, I believe he is blocking the actual hidden wall for that way. There is another entrance to get around the side, but after that, he'll move on out of the area. Now we're gonna have to get ourselves introduced on uh, on how this is gonna work. Now be careful because uh, some of these areas can't go and make uh, sure that you'll be uh, falling down to the ground, which that wouldn't be all that too great. Yeah, so majority of this time we are gonna have to use the pulse. Uh, I think the pulse spell and also with the fireball spell and uh, that's what's gonna happen mostly throughout here if we use the pulse one that will actually help us add in more platforms so that we could go and jump around and the fireball is more so as something to go and use uh, if you want to go and actually uh, take care of the different uh, barriers that are gonna be showing up around which we will be seeing that as well too here but there we go. So after all that little annoying stuff that was taken off from that enemy, there is a little hidden cave that's around here, which that will take us to the main part of what the uh, story is going to happen. And this is just kind of just showing out some, I guess, a little bit of maybe a, a flashback type of dream or something that's going on. And it seems like we have both with um, Alicia and also with the uh, with the Emperor back over at Hamlin. I know that we already kind of saw that this guy like passed away, so... I don't think he would actually be around at this point, right? So it was all just a, a dream, I guess, uh, that was just happening here. But the checkpoint is just almost here pretty soon. We just have to just go through one other little type of area to go through, and uh, we should at least be somewhat fine. Ah, so here we go. So this is where we actually have to go and set up for that pulse spell. So just make sure that you go and figure out where that's at. Yeah, normally it's going to have to be right in our uh, different type of move sets that we go and use in battle anyways. Alright, and there we go. And they already been stuck down in place just like that. And we're good to go and just jump around now. And yes, also as well too, there is also the fireball barriers, which that's also another thing to go and do. Now, I believe I think I'd try out the pulse and see if that actually works. Unfortunately, that does not actually work. It has to be using uh, the fireball damage. There we go. And just like that, it's already been taken care of, so we're all good to go from there. Yeah, there's nothing really else, unfortunately. Uh, no other type of chest or anything. That will probably happen in the next type of uh, area part that's going to happen. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of things going on here. And there's also another new form of what these Sasquatches are going to be. This is known as the Mama Sasquatch. They kind of almost have a little bit of like a like a type of uh, Kegasgoth feel to what this uh, familiar is all about. Just see the little one in his pouch there. Eh. But let's go with uh, let's hopefully not go with the other two other Sasquatches though. Oh yeah, and also too, I do have a lot of extra cheeseburgers uh, within the inventory. I know that those guys cost a lot of money. Uh, but at least those are good because that actually full heals us all the way back up to our original type of state. So that's pretty handy. But there we go. All taken care of. And I think we're all set. Oh, wait, what is that? A sun crystal. Yeah, I know that I've been collecting a lot of moon crystals and sun crystals lately. And I don't know if it's just because of those enemies that I've been seeing around out here in Yule. Now make sure to uh, mark some of your different... Uh, different type of listings of what you have for items that you've been dr getting dropped around by some uh, well from the different familiars because um there is going to be some special ultimate weapons i think within this game that will actually give us uh, some pretty nice good handy stuff uh for some of our different familiars and other things to give us like the max type of attacking item that we do need and there's a save point right there and i think that's pretty enough a good time for us to go and end off the episode so see you guys then and peace